did you see anything at Berkshire Farms that made you wonder if it was improper or not, anything that was going on? Things were seen, things were heard. Uh, in particular, um, I had a couple of friends that were clinicians there. Um, I was in the human resource department. I was an assistant, human resource assistant. Um, talking with this clinician about this one child, she came in and I remember crying. And I, and I said, what's going on? And she smoked and we would go off for smoke breaks. I kind of smoked at the time, so I went up with her. And she goes, she mentioned this kid's name. I don't remember his name now, but she said that they brought him in to the nurse's office. Uh, his ears are bleeding. He had a knot on his forehead. His nose was kind of crooked. It looked like it might have been broken. Um, he was bent over from the side because of rib injuries. And I said, what happened? Would him and another kid have alter altercation? She says, no. The cottage workers, who are the, the people that are paid by Berkshire to watch these kids, had beat him up because he refused to do something. Something as simple as picking up his sneakers. And I said, well, what happened to him? Did they send him to the hospital? She says, no, the nurses dried up his blood in his, in his ears, in his nose, patched him up and sent him to class. He couldn't miss any more time from school. Do you remember the clinician who told you that? Yeah, I remember the clinician. Do you remember the name of the clinician? Yeah, I remember the name of the clinician. Would you rather not say? I'd rather not say. That's okay, for fear that somebody might retaliate. Against her. That's yeah. fine. Um, and did you mention that you also were, you, were you told to alter any kind of uh, records for physicals there? Well, I dealt with disability workers comp, phys physicals for, for the whole agency. And this spans all the way down to Staten Island where they have, they have offices. I received every physical for every employee on, on Berkshire's payroll. Mm -hmm. At the time, uh, Mrs. Washington was being investigated by OCFS. Uh -huh. We had big problems. Right. People were coming to work for us that were pedophiles, child molesters, mm -hmm. and we have a system with OCFS that we do fingerprinting and background checks. Right. That was another girl's job. However, my job entailed the physicals. Right. You had to have a physical and a tuberculosis screening before you actually were supposed to start working and interacting with the kids. Right. We had people that had been there six months, almost a year, that they hadn't had any sort of physical. Right. When we were being audited by the state, they wanted this information. They wanted our information intact. We right. didn't have that. Right. So now people were being rushed to the local physician uh, for Berkshire and being told that they had to have blood pressures, height, weight, and th that was submitted to me. That, then I was instructed by Dale, who was my supervisor, to, to put it in as a physical, a physician's physical. And I said, that's not a, phys a physical. What's the difference? A physical is when you, you, get, a, you get a blood check, you, you, which is the TB screening. You get a full physical, a full workup. Right which we pay for, right. that wasn't done. So in other words, they gave them a quickie one. A quickie, and wanted it to pass off. They wanted them to, to they wanted me, based on that simple form, to say that that was a, a, a full physical in, in the chart. It wasn't, because we had several fields. A blood pressure field, a weight field, and we had a physical field. They wanted me to specifically put a physical was, was administrated on these people, and it wasn't. I refused. So they asked you to falsify people's medical records? Yes. Who asked you to do that? Dale at first. Dale is? The supervisor of human resources. What's Dale's last name? I, I don't remember. Okay. I remember my, my the director of, of, of human resources saying that what was the problem, and that was Yvette well, Malave Diaz. And the purpose for falsifying the medical records would have been to be in compliance with the state's rules? Correct. Which means that they wouldn't have to have people stop working immediately, which would create a shortage, which would probably put them out of compliance with the, the count, the body count. It's one to every five kids or something. So if you weren't doing that, they had to have other people do it. Yeah, Dale was doing it. Dale yeah. and Cindy were doing it for me because I wouldn't do it. They, they, now, what exactly were they doing? How would you explain what they did? They took the paperwork that came in from the doctor's office, the blood pressures, the weights, the heights, and were putting it in his physicals. And what's wrong with that? It was inaccurate. It was false. It was supposed to be put in as a blood pressure. It wasn't supposed to be put in as a physical. But the state wanted to see that the people had the physicals? And had it to be a TB screening in particular. That wasn't, that wasn't. But a physical would comprise a, a TB screening. Right, but a TB screening wouldn't be part of a blood pressure. No. In other words, they were falsifying physicals for the Berkshire employees statewide. And they asked you to do it and you refused to do it? Correct. And I was fired for it. Um, uh, and now you, you mentioned that there was another co-worker there. Mm -hmm. um, that worked in the billing department? Yeah. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, she was um, particularly billing for Medicaid. It's ironic how all these jobs are related to something, right? Uh, she was billing for Medicaid and uh, she received all the billing for statewide for Berkshire Farms, um, boys, uh, for the children. How many different counties does Berkshire Farms have offices in? <sighs> Too many to count, guy. At least maybe 26. 26. So your friend, your co-worker, yeah. received 
the information from all of those offices? Yes. Okay. What was she told to do with that information? She's supposed to apply the billing to Medicaid to get payment, reimbursement. Um, but at times, from Neil Flynn, the CFO at the time, she was called into his office and, and, and told to do certain things with the medical billing, with the Medicaid billing in particular. What was she told to do with the Medicaid billing? To change it. In what way? Um, put more units, um, put down more treatments, or they actually did it themselves and, and gave it to her to do. But in essentially, they were falsifying a, a, a legal document. And, and they were falsifying it for what purpose? To gain more money for Medicaid. So Neil Flynn was asking my friend to change the billing, the way she was billing Medicaid, to change it, which would produce more money for, the, for Berkshire Farm, which was a part of Columbia County. So they asked her to falsify the billing to add more money to the bill that they sent to Medicaid? Yes. More, more, more charges, yes. More charges. And whatever became of that? Did, uh... She ultimately quit. She couldn't take the pressure. And when she wouldn't do it, who would do it now? They'd have other people, new people came in, and those new people didn't have an idea of what they were doing. They and were just told to do it this way, and that was it. Right. And she confided in you that she didn't want to do this? Yes, she how confided she, in me. How did she explain? She tried to get transfers out. She tried several transfers out. She was very, very educated, very skilled. Um, she'd gone to college as a degree, but she was stuck in this office because she knew how to do her job. Mm -hmm. um, she received several raises, but she couldn't transfer out because Neil Flynn was afraid if she transferred out of his scope, his reach, that, that somehow he, what he was doing would be affected. Affected? You mean he might be exposed? He might be exposed. Uh huh. And of course he couldn't risk that, but, the, but it, ultimately he quit as well. As well as a couple of other people that were top executives at Berkshire Farm. Uh huh. For all of the abuse of, of funding, the abuse of the children.